So I feel like my job is to heal out loud and be so much myself that every woman who encounters Girl Just Heal feels that she has no other choice but to heal and grow and evolve into the best version of herself because that's exactly what she's surrounded by the moment she enters this space. What's poppin' home, girl? Welcome to the Girl Just Heal podcast. I'm Nimoya Bazin, and child, listen, I cannot believe we are already five episodes into the Girl Just Heal podcast. Like, what? Y'all, I feel like this is a cause for celebration. I am just super excited because, like, we got like a whole five episodes. and. I'm just over the moon at what God is doing through me for the Girl Just Heal podcast, for the Girl Just Heal brand. Baby, the the community on Facebook is growing. Listen, if you are not a member of the Girl Just Heal private Facebook community, go look. Either you can click the link. That's the easiest way to take you to the group. Click the link in the description of this episode or go to Facebook. Just type in Girl Just Heal. You're going to see the logo. You're going to see the group pop up. Come on and be a part of the Girl Just Heal Facebook community. I'm telling you, this community is loaded down with women who are just so determined. I have honestly never seen a group of women so determined to heal before. Like the, and and I it may be a group of women out there. You know, like I'm not the first who have done it. I'm not going to be the last who has done it. Like there are so many other communities being built every day or communities that's already built where people are really just like showing up and becoming the best version of themselves. But for me personally, this girl right here, this girl from a little small town in Southern Illinois, for me to see that and to see how God is working through me. To build this community of women, let me just say, all glory to God, all thanks, all honor, all praise to him because, child, this is me. You know, like sometimes it be stuff in your life to happen and you just be like, um, God, you sure that you wanted me to do it? Like you sure you ain't say you wanted somebody else to do it? But God is like, nah, baby, I want you. You the one I want. I know what you did. I know what you said. I know what you thought. I know all of that. And I still want you. You still the one. So when you get over beating yourself up, when you get over talking yourself out of stuff, when you get over thinking you ain't qualified, you still gonna be the one that I want. When you get over doubting yourself, You still going to be the one that I want. When people get over talking about you and bringing up your past and saying what you used to do, you still going to be the one I want. And so this is what God said to me and about me. God said, you are still the one that I want. So praise the Lord for that. But make sure you just join the Facebook community. Because it's lit in this community and we have so much stuff in store for this community. Like it's not just going to cap at being a Facebook community. There is a master plan. Like God is in the works of doing some things and I don't want you to miss this movement. That's why I'm so adamant about each time I come here, just letting you know, getting you familiar with the Girl Just Heal Facebook community and the entire Girl Just Heal brand because you want to be a part of that community so that you don't miss the movement with what God is doing. I want you to experience this. I want you to be a part of all of this as well, because we are just a family. Like we really are a family. I love y'all so much. Okay. So, uh, with that being said, cause I'm just, honey, I didn't just stirred up the pot early. Didn't I? Um, we're going to go ahead and get into this episode and I feel like this episode is going to be a real good episode today. So you already know what time it is, baby. It is time for the prayer cards, prayer cards. It is time for the prayer cards, the prayer cards. Hey, hey, prayer cards, the prayer cards. Hey, hey. (laughs) So it's time for the prayer cards, y'all. And if you are new here and don't know how this works, baby, we have these prayer cards. And what I do is I pick a card out of here. It has a scripture on it. 
and we read that scripture and we dissect that scripture. We just say what that scripture means to us. And I'm saying we and us because I'm going to say it. And then I want you to put in the comments what the scripture means to you. Okay. You have to put it in the comments. Like we got, I need to see y'all putting it in the comments. Come on now. Interact, interact with me. All right. So we're going to go ahead and just pull one. No order. Y'all see, I shuffle it every time. Um, I open it because I want to make sure that I'm shuffling it good. So let's just go ahead and pull one. And if you are wondering where I got these from, baby, I got these from the Dollar Tree. Um, or I don't know if I can call it the Dollar Tree because y'all know it ain't just a single dollar no more for stuff. I got it from the Dollar Tree when everything was a dollar. But if you want them, they still got them. You just got to pay an extra 25 cent. <laughs> All right, y'all. So our scripture today is Luke chapter one, verse 45. And it says, blessed is she who has believed that the Lord will fulfill his promises to her. Come on, God, you better send your word to me on today. Look, I don't know about y'all, but baby, this car is for me today. Blessed is she who has believed that the Lord will fulfill his promises to her. And y'all, I'm going to go to the Bible app on my phone today. And I am about to pull this up. I want to pull it up in a different version. I think these are the King James Version cards. Um, but I'm not sure. Oh my goodness. I can't even. All right. So we going to Luke chapter one and it's verse 45. And y'all with what we talking about today, y'all going to see how this ties all in. Y'all going to see how this ties all in. I don't know. God has been doing a thing through these prayer cards and with it just going hand in hand with the message that's coming across. So yeah. All right. So Luke 1 45 in the new living translation version says you are blessed because you believed that the Lord would do what he said. <laughs> you are blessed because you believed that the Lord would do what he said, no matter how it looked, no matter how it felt, no matter what people said. Blessed is she who has believed. So in your heart of hearts, you know that no matter where I'm standing right now, no matter what has come against me right now in this moment, I believe that God is going to fulfill all of his promises to me. Even if I got promise, even if I got things that I'm believing God for from 10 years ago. I still believe today, 10 years later, that he's going to fulfill his promise to me. And you know what? I wasn't going to even go here. But when I said 10 years ago, I realized that 10 years ago was 2013. Back in 2013, I can remember just like crying out to God and praying to God and like, Lord, you know what I want. And I could hear so clearly God saying back to me, I know what you want and I got it for you in due time. And so today I'm just reminded that because I believe what God said back in 2013 to me when I was at one of my lowest points in my life, because I still believe that I'm blessed because I believe that even though it hasn't happened yet, that God is still on the throne, that he is still working it out for my good. And that the word that he spoke to me way back when, it will come to pass. So this is really, let me tell you, this card just really, it just really did something for me. And I feel like all these prayer cards really do something for me. And I, I'm so glad that, like, I didn't know when I bought these prayer cards, what I was going to use them for. I thought I was going to just use them by myself just reading the Bible. And then let me use these every day to like, keep me consistent. But y'all, I never use these things. And I've had these things for so long, a few years now. And until this, like God knew, he knew that I was going to be using these prayer cards, these dollar prayer cards for the Girl Just Heal podcast. And I'm just like, he does all things well, even when we don't realize why we're doing certain things or, or why we are in certain places in our life, 
God has a plan and he does all things well. We just got to hold on to see what that plan is, to see what it is that he's trying to do. Everything works together. So I love this scripture. Y'all got to, y'all already know, y'all got to save this scripture. I'm going to read it one more time because I just want to feel it down in my soul. It says, blessed is she who has believed that the Lord will fulfill his promises to her. Every promise that God makes, he keeps. And although it doesn't happen when we want it to happen, guess what? In due time, in his time, it's going to happen. So. Oh, that prayer card was so good. It was so good. It was so good. Y'all, that prayer card made me happy today. And so now let's get into what I'm going to talk about. And I got to read y'all something because I was, um, this was back. So the trailer of the podcast, I released the trailer of the Girl Just Hill podcast on March the 8th. So this was the day after I released the trailer that I received this DM on Instagram. And normally I don't really be checking my DMs like that because you know, like if you have posts that go viral on social media, you just got so many people sending you DMs and sometimes it just be overwhelming. It'd be so hard to keep up. So I try not to make it a habit to check them. Well now, because I'm evolving and you know, because things are different in my life, I have to check them a lot more just to make sure that I'm interacting with people who actually need me. But I said all of that to say this time, like I checked it and it came to my phone, which when people send me a DM, sometimes I don't know, the notifications be weird. It don't come, but this particular one came to my phone and it was from somebody that I know. And she says, now, mind you, before I read this, this was one day. After I released the trailer for the Girl Just Hill podcast. Okay, so no episodes were released, just the trailer. It says, Hey, lady, just sitting here watching you shine, talking about this podcast you're starting. I cannot wait. Definitely will be using it in my team groups. So much has changed for me since we worked together. First and foremost, healing. And healing is in all caps, y'all. And getting to flip those traumas and hurts and use my story in the work I do as a victim advocate is just the cherry on top of the Sunday. With a heart, so, so proud of you. Y'all, let me just tell you, you never know who's watching you. You never know who's encouraged by the way that you heal, who's encouraged by the way that you are growing, by the way that you are evolving. Some people are looking at the evolution that's taking place in your life and it's encouraging them to be more vocal, to step out, to do more things because they see the change that's happening inside of you. They see the change that's happening in your life. And so it's encouraging them to now embrace things that they may not have been vocal about. Listen, You never know who's watching you for just that glimpse of hope, that glimpse of I can do this, that glimpse of I am not alone. They looking for something and you just never know who that person is. You don't know whose healing is tied to your obedience. My God. Listen, let let me tell you, that message set me on fire because it came one day. Now, let me just say this. Even though like we did work together and stuff, we didn't really have a relationship like after years when we start when we stopped working together, like we would interact somewhat on social media. But this is the first time I've literally heard from her since we worked together. And all of this stuff that I have been doing. I mean, I didn't launch so many businesses, y'all. Like, I didn't did so many things. I have put up so many motivational posts on Instagram. Like, I've done a lot on Instagram. But the moment I released the trailer for the Girl Just Heal podcast, this lady inboxes me. And she notices that, hey, it's something different about what you're doing now. My God. And I can't help but to think about if I wouldn't have been obedient 
and started the Girl Just Heal podcast. Like that's all that came to my mind. First thing first, I was like, God, you get all the glory, all the honor, because there was confirmation that I'm right where I'm supposed to be. That was just one of the first things of one of the first confirmations that I received. But I'm like, God, you get all the glory, all the honor, all the praise, because I know that you are in this thing. You are working this thing out. I'm not doing this by myself. I'm not doing this off of my own strength. And so for me seeing that, I'm like, wow, that word hit me. You don't know who's healing. Whose freedom, whose breakthrough, whose next level is tied to your obedience. So while I know that like the healing journey is a very hard journey, the healing process is different for everybody, but it's tough sometimes. Like we just going to keep it real and regular. It's tough sometimes to heal. Okay. You going to go through days where you feel like getting up then days where you don't want to you don't want nobody looking in your face. You, you're going to go through all these emotions, all these different fields. You're going to experience that. But you got to understand that after all you go through, there is somebody out there that's waiting to see you heal the way you are healing. That's why it's so important for you to understand that you don't have to do what somebody else is doing when you are healing. You don't have to to copy off them. If they did something this way, you don't have to do it the exact same way because the uniqueness is in your personal healing process. People will gravitate towards you. I saw a um, video of this lady who said, don't delete any of your social media videos or your posts because you feel like it's not getting reached. When it's your time, God is going to bring those people to you because it's already a, a set number of people who you are supposed to reach. So when it's your time, God going to make sure that those people come to you. They going to find you. He going to give you the tools you need to put the word out there, but they going to gravitate towards you. They going to start finding you. And you got to understand that there is a group of people who are waiting for you to heal. They waiting for you to get up again. They waiting for you to love yourself again. They waiting for you to, to finish your personal growth. They waiting for you to build a healthy relationship with you because you are going to be the light for them. You are going to be the encouragement for them to get up and to do that same thing. So needless to say, I just was so overwhelmed and I was just so happy and I did I cried when I received this message from her I did I shed a tear because I was just like after all of that second guessing myself after all of that doubting myself after all of the self-sabotage and me saying oh I don't know how I'm gonna do this I don't think I want to do this podcast like stuff let me tell y'all stuff was going haywire when I was first like doing the podcast, nothing was happening right. I was getting all this different equipment and stuff. And then I'm like, I can't even use it. Like it's just stuff was just happening just because like I would get in front of the camera and I would freeze up and I couldn't say none. And I'm like, girl, come on. Like, you know, you know that this is your cup of tea. You know that this is what you do, but it's just like I couldn't say nothing. I couldn't do nothing. But then God just turned it around and I just started doing it. Like, I just was like, I'm going to start. And me making that decision to start is inspiring and encouraging so many people. And the lady who messaged me, like she was just one of them. And I guess it was like a shocker to me because I didn't expect to get a message from her. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, you never know who's watching you. You never know like who's just being encouraged by you. You never know who's following your light and like who your light is lighting up their path. I hope you get what I'm trying to say, but like you are a light, you are shining bright in whatever space in this world that you are supposed to occupy. 
And you never know who's following behind you because you are that light that's illuminating their path. You are helping them come to terms with some things that they probably hadn't come to terms with. You are helping them experience some things that they haven't experienced. You are helping them heal and evolve. And you are just encouraging them to be free, to be them, to be that person God created them to be, to be the best version of themselves. And that does my heart well. It does my heart well because I'm like, God, you have a purpose for this. Like, I really feel that when I tell y'all Girl Just Heal is a movement, oh my goodness, Girl Just Heal is a movement. And I just want to thank y'all. And I know like we five episodes into the podcast, but like, no, I really want to express my gratitude because it is because of y'all that I, I'm able to keep going and to keep doing this because I get such a joy when it's time for me to come and talk to y'all. When it's time to record an episode, I get so much joy just knowing that I, God is using me to build a community of women who are going to experience their desired level of healing. What? God is using me to create a resource that I wish I had when I was going through my healing journey? What? <laughs> God is using me to bring people out of darkness, to bring women out of depression, bring women out of anxiety, help women heal from trauma. What? <laughs> it is so, sometimes I can't even believe it because it's like little old me. God, you thought enough of little old me to use me despite the life I used to live, despite the things I used to do, despite the things I've done, despite the decisions I've made, the mistakes I've made. God, you still see fit to use me. And my heart is so full. And I just want to close out this episode by saying that. Your obedience, you never know who's healing, whose freedom, whose next level is attached to your obedience. So whatever it is that God is telling you to do, whatever it is that you feel tugging at your heart, go for it, do it. Do it scared. I know you're afraid. I know it's going to be uncomfortable, but do it anyway, because you never know who's waiting for your light. It's some people out there in darkness. And they waiting for your light so that they can see their way through. So you have to be obedient. I'm telling you, obedience is something that'll take you so far. So we're going to close this episode out for real, for real with the Girl Just Heal mantra. And let me just say this. This mantra is not just a mantra, okay? It's not just a saying that we have here. This is an affirmation. This is something that I want whenever you tune out of a Girl Just Heal podcast episode, I want you to have this that you are taking with you and you are believing it and you are trusting in this affirmation. And it is, the mantra is, I accept myself for who I am. I free myself from all fear and today, I choose to heal. Mm. Man, that does something to me every time, y'all. I accept myself for who I am. I free myself from all fear. And today, I choose to heal. Let's say it one more time. Close your eyes and just feel it. I accept myself for who I am. I free myself from all fear. And today, I choose to heal. So that is it for this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Nimoya Basin. And until we speak again, girl, just heal. All right, homegirl, thank you for tuning in to the Girl Just Heal podcast. We want to make sure that we continue supporting you during your healing journey. So be sure to connect with us on all social media platforms at Girl Just Heal and also join our private Girl Just Heal Facebook community so that you can continue to heal 
grow and evolve.